Now the Blasters has become so attractive that every player want to play for Ghana uh, because of qualifying for the World Cup. You know, we've heard of a uh, player like Antoine Semenya who uh, was called up to play against Nigeria because of injury he couldn't come. And also now we have uh, Odoi, uh, Lamte, and uh, Nike Williams and other young players who uh, want to switch nationality and play for Blasters of Ghana because Blasters have become so attractive. Uh, the days where uh, the players only uh, play for money or let's say uh, <laughs> they use the Blasters to uh, get big contract and big teams to play now. The big boys also want to come and play for Ghana. They are uh, motherland as we normally say. There's this young uh, chap who uh, has gotten their call up to play for uh, Blasters and uh, he's, very, he's, ve he's very, very happy about it. And uh, we are coming to talk about it and I will give you the full video for you to listen to that interview. But before we do that, we listen to what he said. That he said uh, when he heard the news for over two minutes, he was speechless. He was speechless. He couldn't talk uh, because uh, he got the opportunity to play for Blaster. But don't forget that you hit the notification button. You select all, then after you select all, then uh, you like it. You like it, you know, me, I like the like. You subscribe and also you give a comment. And after that, you share to your friends and invite others also to uh, come and join us right here on Bedu News Tips. And now, listen to, listen to the interview that Antoine Semenya uh, had with Salasi of uh, Sahara Football. And I give credit to Sahara Football for uh, doing this great interview. And after listening to the interview, you can also check them up on uh, YouTube on Sahara Football, on social media, Sahara Football. So let's listen to the interview that Antoine Semenya did with Sahara Football. Thank you for, thank you yeah. for having me. I much yeah, appreciate yes. it. Before we go on, can you just give me your name so we know how to pronounce it? Because, <laughs> yeah, the full um, name. Antoine Semenya. Antoine Semenya. Yeah. Uh, that's an Ewe name, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, okay, so uh, over the weekend you scored and got two assists congratulations on that uh, Bristol thank you very much going fine i watched the game i watched your goals and uh, the assist as well i like it but i noticed before we get into it you're good with both feet are you ambidextrous can we call you ambidextrous because you use your left to, to pass to score your right to score to pass so I, I find it difficult to know which leg is your strongest my strongest foot is my right foot but um i can use my left equally as well um, I learned when I was young a lot. Um, it's like three or four. I used to kick it left, right, left, right. And my dad said to me um, one day, he's like, you know, it's really good to, to kick with your left and right. And I was like, no, 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 I don't know. But obviously, it's helped me now. And it just was normal, left and right. So very confident with both. So very, very comfortable with both feet. That's, that's a good trait to have as a striker. So tell me a bit about yourself. Who is Antoine Semenyo? um family stuff like that and everything oh uh, i'll start i'll start with i'll start with family um so mum, dad um sibling uh younger sibling um mom was born in volta region uh my dad it was born in ghana as well um kamasi um grandparents are, were born in togo and our great grandparents were born in togo and um the grandparents were born in ghana so my dad's um togolese and, and was born in ghana um, younger brother Jay Jay Semenyo. Um, he's 18, plays for Cardiff City. Um, okay, he's playing with uh, 23s right now. Um, he's working really hard to get into the first team as well. So, um, yeah, it's just just the three of us, really. Oh, okay, okay. But in the family, is there any history of I know some footballers' families have history of footballers in it? Is that something you also share? Is this, um um yes my dad used to play used to play in ghana he used to play for the advanced stars um oh, okay. I believe. yeah so he played back in the day but i didn't get to i didn't get to see him much unfortunately so you know i've heard loads of stories that he used to be the big dog but um yeah i, <laughs> I, I didn't get to see it oh okay that's good that's, that's refreshing to know and we know last time you got a call up to the Black Stars. We know that for sure. You can confirm that, right? That's it. Yes, yes, I did. And unfortunately, uh, you got injured and couldn't make it to the game. Uh, that was quite unfortunate. But uh, now you're back in shape, scoring. 
And uh, I would like to ask you about that first call up. How did it come? What was the feeling? What was the reaction for the family and friends? Um, so I got a call. Um, I can't remember what day exactly, but Otto called me and um, a, a surprise call. And I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting it, but he called me. He just said, um, "Yeah, this is the, this is the manager speaking." Um, we're ready to call you up for the uh, the qualifiers against Ghana, um, against Nigeria. Nigeria, and, yeah. <laughs> and I can't remember my first reaction, but I was just, I couldn't speak. I was so speechless. I, did, I didn't say anything for like the first two minutes. And he's like, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I was like, yeah, I can, I can hear you. I'm just, I'm just a bit shocked with, with the call. But, you know, um, it's it's undescribable, an undescribable feeling. Like, feeling, um, yeah. Like, who everyone wants to play for their country and you know it's an honor so you know i'm so happy that i managed to get that call but obviously unfortunately i couldn't go due to injury and, and, so and when you realized injury would prevent you from playing uh, i know it must have been a painful feeling but can you describe it to us when when did it when was it confirmed um, that you can't make that trip when it was um, confirmed i think the day that I got injured, I knew it, it wasn't good, but I tried to keep my hopes up, tried to stay positive, and I knew my knee wasn't wasn't feeling right. So I didn't want to, obviously I wanted to play so bad, but I didn't want to risk getting injured even more. So I think the day that I got injured, I knew that I wouldn't be able to go because the way I was feeling was really bad. But um, yeah, it was it was unfortunate. I was so sad. I, I wouldn't lie to you. I was crying, so frustrated. Oh. Wish that I maybe I didn't change direction this way for it to happen. <laughs> but, You'll be going um, back trying yeah. to replay everything. <laughs> and... <laughs> but you know, these 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 things happen for a reason. Yeah. So you know, um, you know, I'm happy that I'm strong and healthy now. And you know, the qualifiers coming up. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Talking about the World Cup qualifiers, which you missed, the playoff, which you missed, the Ghana were able to pull through, thankfully. You're yeah. going to the World Cup, it uh, looks like <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, listen, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying. Yeah, so. yeah, we're hoping you make it to the World Cup. And uh, and what do you think Ghana's chances are? You know the groupings now, we're playing Portugal, South Korea, and then yeah. Uruguay. Yes. Yeah. What are, so let's talk about Ghana's chances in this one, in your opinion. Um, you know, It'll be it'll be really tough. It will be yeah. really tough. Um, obviously, there's uh, well-established countries. Um, you know, Ronaldo, um, you know, <laughs> son for Korea, and then you got Suarez for for Uruguay. Right, well, yeah. There's a bit, of, a bit of revenge there for us. So <laughs> hopefully, we can we can go back and and beat them. But you know, it'll be it'll be a tough group. But I feel like we've got a good group in ourselves. So you know, we'll give them a, we'll give them a good test. Yeah, I think so. Uh, looking at the Afcon qualifiers and. Uh, uh, you 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 know the African terrain and that kind of thing. The history of the Ghana Black Stars and everything. Ghana yeah. have been doing well as the Afcon historically, uh, but in yeah. recent times, Ghana has had history with goal scoring. I don't know if you've noticed, uh, but the last time a striker scored a goal for the Black Stars, it, it's been a while. I think 2020 or 2021. From open play, a striker oh. called scored a goal. Coming in <laughs> as a striker, yeah. Does that put some pressure on you? It's like you you are going to fill some boots that people have tried and not been able to fill. Does that add some pressure to the job you want to do with Ghana? Um, I don't feel like it's pressure. I feel like um, it's even more of a challenge for me to accomplish. Um, you know, as a striker, you know that you're going to get plenty of chances to score. So, you know, I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in my finishing. So. I feel like when the time comes, when the games come around, I'll be able to score open hand. <laughs> you know, the Ghana fans will be raving. So, um, yeah, yeah I've, I've, I'm confident in myself. So um, I don't put pressure on myself to, you know, to score. But I know that if I get that chance, I'll finish it. You'll finish it. Sure, sure. Uh, as a striker, I know yours is to finish in scores, but I watch you for Bristol. You work best with your main man there in there you work best with that partnership you have an understanding going on do you think you play best as a lone striker with a support what position suits you most as a striker um, I, much, I, I much prefer to play with a two but okay. at the same time i don't mind playing in a one as well um i've played both roles this season so i understand it really well i know if you play as a one I know that I have to, you know, link up the play with everyone, try and make the box for the wingers. But as a two, I know that 
they start glazing behind, that comes to feet and, you know, so on and so forth. So I feel like I'm, I have no problem playing in a one or two. Oh, okay. Okay. So growing up, I'm sure you watched Ghana play in various tournaments. Uh, the most historic one being 2010 World Cup. Most of you talk about that. Uh, who would you say is your favorite Ghanaian player growing up and watching the Black Stars as a youngster? Um, I think everyone would know the answer to this. Um, Asma Jan. Um, <laughs> you know, um, you know, as a as a, as a striker, a Ghanaian striker, you know, that's the person you look up to, and you know, all the goals he scored for Ghana that like, have been unbelievable. And that's the that's what I want to do as a as a nine. So I feel like uh, you know, again, this opportunity, hopefully, I can rep- get what he's done. Okay, you want to replicate what Baby Jess has done? He recently released a book. Sure, you get a copy and, and watch how he did it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, definitely. I will. I will. All right, all right. That's great. That's great. That's great. Any words for Ghanaian fans looking who don't know Antoine Samangu and looking? What should they expect from you in the African Cup of Nations qualified? Should you get a call up? That is. Um, well, all I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say too much, but just be ready because you guys got a goal scorer coming, so you know. Just oh be my, I like that. We got a goal scorer <laughs> coming, that's good, that's good, that's good. Just to be know. prepared, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Great, great to have you on. But let me end on this light note uh, you're a Ghanaian, full through and through. You're an ever yeah. man. What's your yeah. favorite dish, local dish? Um, so I like Osa Poco with uh Ghana sweet bread. That's 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 my go-to all the time when I'm at home with my mum. Oh, really? All, all the time, all the time. It's, <laughs> it's, honest, it's honestly, it's honestly. How many times have you been to Ghana? Um, I think it's like three or four times, but it's when I was um, when I was younger. So I haven't been in recent years. So the but, last time uh, was when. It's been a well, while. Could, it's been a while. It. Yeah, it's been a, been a while. <laughs> it's, it's been a long while. But, you know, <laughs> I think um. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much no for having Thank me. Thank you for having me. Sure, sure, sure. Have a great day. Thank you. You too.